Hello everybody, uh, Zerk44 here. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up your capture card because... Why is my camera moving? I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up your capture card so that you may uh, record the pwnage that you did on Xbox Live last night. Here we go. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is a Dazzle capture card. And these things rank up to about 80 bucks. You buy them online, and uh, it's a sim uh, has a simple USB goes straight to your computer. Has three discs that comes with it, and uh, you have to download uh, all of those discs first. And uh, so, you first thing you want is a capture card. I use a Dazzle DVC 170, and these are perfect for what you need. Uh, another thing you're going to need, obviously, is an Xbox, the Xbox, or an Xbox 360, or anything with cables that are, uh, that look like this. Uh, any cable, or any system that has cables like that. Now, uh, another thing, you're, uh, one of the last things you're going to need is a TV, TV right here, with an input right here, and, uh, that's what you need for the TV. And what you need for <clears throat> uh, something else is you need these splitters that you get at Radio Shack. Uh, it has to have one of them where you plug one part in and then two out that you plug in. And this is what a splitter looks like. Now, <clears throat> with all of this, I'm going to show you how to set up it, how to set it up. Okay, so first off, you take your Xbox cables and you take one of these. Make sure you have the yellow one first. Plug the yellow one straight into this part right here. Now take either one of these and plug it straight into the yellow on your TV. <clears throat> Perfect, just like that. Number two, you need the red cable. Plug it straight into here. Take either one of these, doesn't matter, and plug it straight in there. Uh, third, white, plug it straight in here, take that and plug it straight into here. Then, you have these cables left right here, all of these cables left, and you want those left. Because then, you take your capture card right here, one, two, three, and make sure that, okay, see now, here's yellow right here, follow it until you see, oh yeah, this is the other yellow part and you stick that straight into the yellow on your capture card. And then keep, uh, make sure that, oh yeah, this is red, that cable leads to red, so stick it in red, right there. And then white to white. Then your capture card goes straight into your computer. I will now show you how to use uh, Pinnacle Studio to capture. So, hey everybody, uh, you've just seen how to set it up. Uh, I now have my TV back turned around so I can see awesome Halo 2. Uh, my Xbox is plugged in. Oh, i got to plug in my controller right over here. Let me plug this in. Uh, I've now uh, gotten everything set up. So, uh, I gotta show you how to use Pinnacle Studio to capture off. Okay, so, spin the camera over here. Now, after you've installed uh, one the yellow disc of Pinnacle, you open the Pinnacle Studio Quick Start. You should see this, it's just the loading screen. Loading 46%. <clears throat> My capture card is in the back of my TV right now. It's pretty good. Okay, right, so uh, you're not gonna see this when you first uh, open up. You're gonna see this warning. That's nothing. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to go straight up to capture. So you want to hit capture, and uh, after this, you should see this and what's on your screen up in that corner. It, uh, usually when you start it up, you do not see this. You actually see set up uh, uh, camcorder. Okay. Usually you see this. 
uh, and this is just if you want to plug in your camera to uh, record. Uh, but you don't. So you want to go up to to fix this. You want to go up to uh, setup, capture source, and then uh, go to on here. It says DV camcorder. Switch that to Dazzle DVC 170, and then hit OK. And then that should pop up. Uh, this bar right here shows uh, the space you have on your computer, and uh, that uh, it's usually pretty low if you do stuff. Anyway, uh, what you want to do is so after you see that, all you have to do is hit down here the green bar, uh, hit capture, and then name your video up there, and then hit enter. But um, what you want to do is you want to get really great quality, and so you want to do your custom quality. To do custom quality, you have to go back up to setup. So go up to setup, and then hit capture format. Okay. After this, you want to go into MPEG type and hit MPEG2, and bump this all the way up to the top and hit OK. And that's your custom, and that gets you the greatest quality. And then uh, this bar means you have custom. And then you hit that, and then that means that you're capturing. Um, now, after this, I'm going to show you how to add widescreen to your movie so that you can get rid of your HUD. So, anyway, after you're done capturing and you make your movie, what you want to do is you want to open up Premiere, uh, Adobe Premiere or Premiere Elements. Either one will work. I use Elements. It only costs about $100 unless you want to uh, get expensive and go into pre uh, Adobe Premiere. Pro, and that gets really expensive. So now, uh, here's uh, after you're after you're done capturing, go and uh, to uh, get widescreen. This is what you do. Uh, here we go. So I have my Premiere Elements open, and what you want to do is you want to just hit New Project, because I use Premiere Elements. Then give it a name. I'm just gonna call it uh, Poop. Whatever. I don't care. Um. I have Halo playing in the background, don't mind that. Uh, here, uh, you should have a workspace over in this corner, and if you don't, you should go up into a uh, window up here. It should say uh, Restore Workspace, and then hit Edit. And that's how you get your workspace. But anyway, after you're done uh, doing anything, go into your file and folders, uh, go into, um, I, j I had a video called Humans that I had and I really wanted to add widescreen to it so I had to find out how so this is what I did uh... let me get it to a scene that's kinda light so you can see what's actually happening in here okay right, so this is ha what I had what, what you have to do is you have to go into your special effects over here in the corner then under the video effects go down until you find transform double click and then find crop right here and then drag it down onto your video right there then over in the workspace part crop should come up like that and this is what happens uh... you open oops sorry you open up crop and then it should say over here uh... left top right or bottom what you want to do is you want to bump up uh... left uh... not left you want to bump up top until it gets to like that, you just move your mouse to the side after you click. And what this does is uh, it adds the widescreen so you get rid of your HUD. So it's like this. Down, up, whatever. And you can also do the bottom. You know, so uh, what professionals do to cover it up, they do that. And then they do like something. Oh, no, not that. They do like that. And so a movie will look like this throughout the whole thing. Uh, of it just being like this. Thank you. I think this is probably one of the best tutorials on YouTube on how to make machinima. I will go into even deeper on how to make machinima in Halo even after this. So, good luck.